Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's Interstage Window Stream. We're playing some more classic hardcore WoW. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Um, I have a snack. I have a snack. I'm gonna it's some some dip and crackers, some smoked cream cheese dip and crackers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, we're going to go to Ratchet through here. Okay, that makes sense. That's fast. Yeah, melon juice. We need to switch over to melon juice for sure. <clears throat> okay, so... This quest right here with this flawed power stone, you can see it has duration 30 minutes. So we have 30 minutes to go get it on that altar of fire. So yeah, that's fun. I'm scared to go up there. It's gonna be scary. You'll see when we get there. I think it's very intimidating. The whole sky turns red. Terrifying. Don't you mess with me, little hyena. Don't you mess with me. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm just walking here. Okay, just walk in. <laughs> so yeah, the Barrens is like a massive freaking zone. I think kind of the plan is if we live long enough to execute the whole plan is to do like barons and then stone talon and then come back and do southern barons and then probably ashenvale probably kind of sort of in that order there'll probably be some little parts where we pop over to ashenvale or something early but for the most part i think that's the best way to go Ooh, 45 in the hinterlands that sucks <laughs> That kind of makes sense to me with like the range of quests that are in each of those zones. And hopefully we can get groups for the elite quests in Stone Talon, just like we did for Silver Pine. Hey there, just passing through. I think South Sea Freebooters is one of the ones they're gonna want me to get. I actually should have just looked, because there's a lot of quests here too. We're not gonna pick up all of them. Alright. <clears throat> we do want Samoflange though, that makes sense. Talk to me. So we'll go up there and do that. Oh wait, that's Raptor Horns. I walked right past Samoflange. Let's get this wanted poster. Sorry, Sputter Valve. I forgot where you were. Time is money, friend. Have a good one. Be good. All right, Chen. I found your keg. Thunder Keg, what's up? Blood and thunder! Strength for the horde!
I don't know why it didn't have me turn in Wharfmaster Dizzywig, but I'm definitely going to turn that in. Yo! Keep it real! Be good! Mm, I don't think I need one. that yet. Alright. Melon juice. I assume that's going to be in the inn up here. I know people get a little lost in Ratchet because you expect the inn to be like on the main road. But it's not. You have to come up here and this is where like the mailbox and the innkeeper and stuff is. It's like up on this extra little area. What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> Glad I could help! Ah, potential customer! Okay. Oh, good. Melon juice. Okay. Alright, what do I want to sell? This quest item. Health potion, we don't want to sell that. We'll sell that. Quest item, sell that. Green, sell that. Sell that. We'll use that. Sell, 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 sell. Quest, quest. Alright, let's disenchant these greens. Maybe they'll all become dust so they can just take up one spot. Or they can all become essences, that's fine too. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. And I don't need this. Yes, I do not need the operating manual. Okay. <clears throat> yep, I did that. Okay, now we're gonna go kill the Baron. When do they have me go up the mountain? I don't see where they do that. I only have 30 minutes, so I feel like I should do it. It's, um... Up here. It's a green quest, and it's pretty challenging. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. This might be our demise. This might be our demise. I'm pretty scared. But I feel like it's the time to do it. there's no way like I'm gonna finish all this stuff in 30 minutes will have definitely passed and we'll have to go get the thing again Okay. <sighs> I'm scared. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Now, fully aware of every discomfort in my body at the moment. Wait, I need my blueberry. For safety.
Is that mountain right there in the distance, I think? Or is it that one? It's more to the left. It's this one. You gotta go around this mountain. I only have two more minutes of defense potion. You know, I bet, they, I bet the guy doesn't even have you do this quest, but I'm just like crazy and I can't just let a quest be and drop it and skip it. I can't let it be. I gotta do it. Okay. Um, oh, I don't think I'm going up at the right spot because I don't see any plane striders. Usually you, where you go up, you see plane striders. Yeah, we're gonna get stopped. Okay. I think it's farther this way, the path where you can go up. And you'll know you've got the right one because there's plane striders in that area going up that path. Like this little hint. Yeah, there's a plane strider. Okay, it's this way. <sighs> Shake him. Shaking, I'm shaking. Okay. You got this, Karen. You got this. You got this ship. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. There's going to be other people up there. You're not going to be alone, so it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be all fine. You're going to destroy the demon seed, and it's going to be really good. You're going to do the, do the good thing for the horde. For the horde. Okay. Oh god, this guy is red. <clears throat> the sky is red. And I can't see anything because the sky is so red. Plane striders, why are you up here? Aren't you like worried about breathing this not nastiness in? Aren't you worried about that? Why are you not worried about that? I'm worried about that. Oh god, and there's no one here. <laughs> and there's no one here. Okay. There's nobody here. Uh, okay. Let's try to pull you. Come back this way. Alright. Who's next? You're next. There's a friend. Hello, friend. Yes. Yes, dad mode. I would love to. Hello, dad mode. My best friend. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh. You save me, dad. Yay. Okay, okay, we did it. We just gotta get out of here. Just gotta get out. Back around this corner. Okay, Whew. we did it. We did it, we destroyed the demon seed, you guys. Okay, we actually can hearth to ratchet now. We can actually hearth to ratchet. We don't need to stay up here. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, time to kill some pirates. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. We're gonna get level 20, you guys. I believe in us. I believe in us. Oh, someone already decimated the pirate population over here. I hate when you have no idea what happened. It just is Eastern Kingdoms. Like, what? So where were you? That spell isn't ready yet. <clears throat> that extra dot was for you, friend. Right, the Baron should be somewhere over here. That's where he usually is. At one of these camps. There he is. I see him. I see him. All right, let's clear to him. I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. Hey, bestie. How's it going? I want to be friends. We'll make a crew. Um, you can be my Luffy. And I'll be your Nami. It'll be super fun. Oh no, he died. I don't mean to kill my friends. It just keeps happening. All right, we're gonna try again. Let's make friends with this one. Hey, what's up, Noel? You're such a cute little puppy. I take back what I said about Noel's before. Um, I don't believe that anymore. I think you're you're adorable. Oh, I think I hugged him too hard. A lot of 60 dings today. I haven't even I stopped kind of checking if for even even Hoarder Alliance. There's just been so many. <clears throat> Congrats to all the 60s today.
I thought it would be smarter to come back up to the front, but the front is so heavily camped. All the spawns are dead. Maybe we can go up that path? I think there's some up there. Or maybe not, I don't remember. But I feel like there there is. Oh no! They were probably doing the run through Barrens to Mulgore. Or from Mulgore. To try to go up. Level 20 gotten by Alliance. Rest in pieces. Those cats is vicious. Is there any brigands up here? No, it's a totally different kind of mob. Cutthroats and privateers. It must be for like a rogue quest or something. Some other class quest. Bridge Troll, that's an awesome name. Really good for a troll warrior. Alright, we'll have to go back in the kitchen later. a brigand that's what i actually want no he got the tag stupid come out brigands come out i would like to say hello i have gifts for you There's a brick end. I feel like they changed in hardcore um, the way the mobs spawn because like they spawn on top of you and then it like takes them a second to realize that you're there. It's like almost like they have like a, a five second dummy cooldown or something <clears throat> where they're like unawares for uh, a very short period so that you can like run away if you need to.
All right, we just need one more brigand and then we'll be done. Get it, oh my gosh, it's Nikki. Nikki, what are you doing? How are you doing? Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you get an opportunity to come by live so rarely. How have you been? And we are getting it. We are getting it. This is hardcore, by the way. This is hardcore. If we die, the character just goes away. They, they can't revive. Oh, a Silverwing Elite. Oh my god. I think that's a, the escort quest. That escort quest is like 24 and they're 32 and they died to it. Holy crap. I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to die. Don't worry. I'm not going to die. But that's why I've got like the death log here, like showing people's deaths and stuff. Um, and you'll hear like a cheering sound effect. Every someone, time someone dings 60, uh, the game has a cheering sound effect. And it tells you in the chat, but I've got the chat covered it's wow and people say some crazy shit in the chat that y'all don't need to see so um so yeah <laughs> chilling just sipping my coffee nice that's what i did this morning i have a day off today so hence why i'm here streaming hanging out with you guys it was um my husband's birthday yesterday so i took a bunch of days off to hang out with him and we did hang out yesterday and it was good we had a tomahawk steak was delicious. <clears throat> Is that Limoncello LaCroix? Yes. This is one of the best LaCroix flavors. Happy birthday, Mr. Karen. I'll tell him. I'll tell him you said so, Nikki. I love those. They're like lemon cream sodas, right? This is one of my favorite LaCroix flavors. I think my favorites are the Limoncello, the Key Lime, which is basically like Lime LaCroix, but like better, like more interesting. And then the Guava. The Guava LaCroix is so good. If you've never had Guava LaCroix, you've got to try it. It's delicious. I love guava, yeah. And the guava LaCroix can is so cute. It's like pink and stuff. You gotta try it, it's, it's amazing. I sure could use your help, kid. I also like grapefruit Welcome just cause I get to yell pumple moose, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit um, in any in any form. So um, I don't really like them, but I don't like any grapefruit. So why would I like the grapefruit LaCroix, but the name does amuse me. I wish we called grapefruits Pomplemousse. Then I might try to will myself to like them more. Hello, Blue. Karen Lilitary, that's right. This is, uh, you're eating Narak. <laughs> uh, as we say in the Discord, evil version of Karen. Grapefruit was a key snack when I lived in Puerto Rico. Oh, I bet in Puerto Rico hey, it's better. I bet in Puerto Rico it's better. I've never tried a grapefruit in Puerto Rico, but I mean, I have been, you know, to Puerto Rico and all over the Caribbean and stuff, and their produce is, like, way better, you know? <clears throat> so, I would not be surprised. Oh. Oh, I didn't accept it. I didn't accept Miner's Fortune. I didn't realize they wanted me to do that. What's up? Keep Here we go. <clears throat> Joke's probably been done before, but whatever. That's okay, Blue. That's okay. That's okay. Is this is the is this the first hardcore WoW stream you've been to, Blue? For, that I've been doing. You just put some sugar on it and eat it with a grated spoon. It's better than ice cream. I believe you. Puerto Rican grapefruit probably is. I don't know. I haven't tried grapefruit in a long time. I think the last grapefruit I tried well, was like a grapefruit ratchet. Lacroix, Hope and I wasn't into it. Work. But that was still years ago. Okay, what does it want me to do now? Fly to crossroads, okay. Time is money, friend. Been here a few times, just never made a comment on it before. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember, I couldn't remember. I know you've been to a bunch of streams recently, but I couldn't remember if it was like mostly Sundays or something. So, my apologies. Mm. I 
I don't want to automate those. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? I don't understand. Why would it, what is gossip and why would I skip it? I don't even know. <clears throat> yep, we're still not dead. We're still not that dead. You remember fondly your punished cosplay, yes. I remember. <laughs> All right, and accept prowlers. Okay, so we'll do prowlers next. Where you looked like the boss. I don't I, I, wait. I don't now. I, I don't remember. I don't think what you're talking about. I haven't really done a whole lot of cosplays. I mean, I have the cat one that we do, do for Final mean? Fantasy X-2, no. and then I have this one. And we did kind of sort of a cosplay for the Matrix stream forever ago. Strength for the horde. Oh, wait. Strength. This one. Go forth to victory. Metal Gear Solid. Punished Snake. You're thinking of someone else, Blue. I've never played. I've never uh, played Metal Gear Solid what on stream. You were thinking of someone else, my friend. That was not me. Okay, so now we need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and we'll kill raptors and get plain straighter kidneys on the way. Hell yeah, you got a grubbin. I remember the eye patch like it was yesterday. Blue. Blue. <laughs> okay, okay. I know what you're talking about now. That's okay, that's true. I did do that. I did do that. <laughs> I remember Baron's chat like it used to be wild and it's still wild and don't worry. They still tell Chuck Norris jokes all the time and say all kinds of crazy nonsense. Nikki, okay. So I saw you commented on one of the TikToks that I posted from these streams. So, tell me about your WoW journey. Like, when did you play WoW? What did you play? Like, what did, like, tell me, tell me. Because, like, I played WoW pretty hardcore, vanilla, BC, and Wrath. And I played a bit in Kata, but then I kind of, like, fell off after that. Like, I didn't really get into Pandas. I, I played on and off during Kata, you know, and I really hadn't played much since then until Classic came back. And it's just like, oh, that good Classic feel. I, list, I love that good classic feel. Oh my god, my Void Walker is not here. Well, he's gray, so it's okay. He can just beat me up. Oh, but he resisted my immolate. Panda Gaming, wow, yeah. I started playing at 17, which I think was after the second patch. I mained Fire Mage, fuck yeah. In, uh, in vanilla, I had a Druid. I had a Tauren Druid that I played hella. And then um, for Burning Crusade, my main was a um, Blood Elf Warlock. He was the best. If Blood Elf were in vanilla, I, I would be rolling a Blood Elf right now. I think the male Blood Elf um, voice, model, dance, everything is like, oh my god. A tier, S tier. So good. So good. <clears throat> I got to level 60 and dropped it for Death Knight. After that, I main DK and Hunter. Oh my god! DK and Hunter, that's like my husband's classes. That was like Levi's main classes. Um, we, we played on Alliance together briefly during BC because he wanted to play Paladin and that was the best way. Or no, this was during Vanilla. This was before BC. Um, and I rolled a, a human with him so he could play Paladin. But after that, um, you know, because when BC came out, Ford could be Paladins too and all that. And then Wrath came out and there were Death Knights. But yeah, Hunter, Death Knight, and Paladin were probably the main classes that, that I remember him playing a lot of when we were into WoW pretty hardcore. I'm out of range. Also, I didn't know we were supposed to do this. So I was joining Battlegrounds at level 10 and dying all the time. People hated me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but we were dumb kids. I don't know. I was like, I, um, I remember I started playing a while when it came out. I'm pretty sure it had only been out for like a month or so when I started playing. And, um, it was like, I lost my train of thought, sorry. It was like, um, I want to say like Molten Core was the main rate. Like, I really think it was like at the beginning. And um, I was in, in college at the time, right? And it was like my fall break from college when I was told about this game and started playing it. I'm pretty confident it was something like that. So I don't think the game had even been out long when I started playing. 
And like, I know I was in my freshman year because of other contextual things I remember from around that time. <laughs> so I know I was a freshman um, when this happened and I started playing. So it would have been like the fall of 2004, I'm pretty sure. Seeing how the company's been the past few years, maybe I was right to never play WoW. Well, you know what? They're all like that now. But it's true. Blizzard is not really a company anymore. It's a um, it's a ghost of a company uh, puppeted by uh, Bobby Kotick, you know? Um, it's not it's not the way it used to be. It's not the way it used to be. Very true. Once we got pets, I only want to do pet battles. Girl, same! I pretended it was a Pokemon trainer. I had a guild called Oprah Wind Fury. Oh my god. Girl, same. That's what kept me playing Kata. Because, like, they all of a sudden made the dungeons and raids and all this stuff, like, way harder for, like, why? It, people were like, make it hard again, make it hard again. But, like, vanilla was never hard. You were just children and didn't know what you were doing. Anyways, Kata, they actually made, like, the dungeons and raids, like, actually fully hard. Um, like, Uldor hard, and it was like, what the fuck? So, anyway, I just played pet battles. That's what I did in Kata. <laughs> I think I raided a couple times. Um, mostly I pet battled, for real. That's, like, all I did. Um, it was fun. It was fun. I hope someday they would do a classic plus so that we could have like um, a pet and uh, and mount tab. You know, I don't think they need to add pet battles back, but I would love to collect pets and mounts again, but you can't really do that in, um, in classic because they just live in your bag. So like, you can't really do that. Playing like it's Pokemon, yeah. I think I started playing in 2008, so maybe I was in college. Yeah, I'm, I... I I think if he was 2008, then it would have been towards the end of Vanilla or something like that. But I don't remember the exact timeline, so I might be off on that. Bro, I hated PvP. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like PvP either. I would play on RP servers mostly. Mostly play on RP servers. Um, my husband only ever wants to play PvP uh, and PvE, and I joined the RP servers to farm and do pet battles. Oh my god! Yeah. I don't think, I don't think my husband, I don't think Levi was ever super into PvP. I think he was mostly like wanting to raid. That was like his main thing, dungeons and raids. And he liked to collect mounts too. So he would do like all kinds of random stuff to get mounts. <clears throat> Twinsies, that's right. Pet battles were awesome. That was the best. Honestly, truly, that's what kept me playing Kata. If they hadn't had pet battles, I would have fallen out in Kata instead of falling out in, um, instead of falling out in, uh, in Pandaland. But Pandaland's really when I like, I fully kind of stopped playing and I really didn't actually come back after that. I mean, I kind of sort of did, but like not really. I played on and off various other expansions, but not really, not really. Classic's the best version, you know, vanilla's the best version. That's just how it is. So I hear hardcore mode was added really recently. Yes, it just started. Like literally whatever the first Saturday that I streamed it was, it had started like a few days before on whatever that Thursday was before that Saturday. So like, yeah, it just started, the official hardcore. Now, there is a hardcore mode and mod that people have been playing for a couple of years now, but it wasn't official, it was unofficial. So official hardcore though just started. And that's what this is, official hardcore. So you can't cheat or nothing, you can't cheat. Like if you, if you die, there's nothing you can do about it. You've, you, you're done, your character cannot revive. Unlike the mod where like, it's a mod, like it's not a real game mode. So like you can cheat by turning the mod on and off and resetting things and stuff like that. But in official hardcore, it's not possible. It's not possible to cheat. Okay, we got all of our kidneys. I can't die, die too much. That's what I thought too, girl. That's what I thought too. Um, so when I heard these were coming out and I knew I might want to stream it, I, I did a test and I got all the way up to level 15 and I was like, okay, I can do this enough to stream it and make it entertaining for you guys. And honestly, that's how I feel. Like it's very, very fun to stream and it's very, very fun to like be in a little community, you know, doing it, but just playing like kind of by yourself or whatever um, is not my jam, but I love streaming it. And I love like the community that it brings. Cause the, the, thing, that, the thing that hardcore mode does that's so beneficial to WoW is it keeps things capped, right? Because we all know the game so well, we can speed through it. Bots are here, like making all the gold so that the economy gets inflated and all of these things, right? But hardcore, that stuff doesn't happen because your character doesn't last long enough for you to do all of that stuff, right? So like the economy is still like it used to be in vanilla. So that's what is so great about hardcore. That's what's so great about hardcore. 
<clears throat> okay, so we're gonna head up this way, and we're gonna do the the pools next. We gotta ooh, let's walk around these guys. We don't wanna do. We don't wanna get into all that. Someone's doing um counterattack. It looks like we do not want to get in their way. We just wanna come up here and collect our mushrooms. Mushaboom, mushaboom. Do you ever get recognized by your channel in game? No, I am way too small. I'm way too small. I do have a macro where I tell people though, like if I'm grouping up with them, I have a macro where I tell them that I am streaming so that they're aware that um, they're being filmed. But like, no, so far nobody has cared and they've not bothered by it or anything. Like I've not had anyone be like, oh, never mind and leave group or something like that. Usually there's just no reaction or they're like K or whatever, you know? Because I'm just telling them as a courtesy. That would be cool, though. If someone was like, hey, are you that Karen Terry? <laughs> I'd probably be like, yes. Without even asking any context. Like, which Karen Terry? i just say yes. Whichever one. Do you hate her? Do you love her? Whatever. What are you showing me? Oh! <gasps> You had, oh, you didn't remember, right? We've. This is from your mom. Oh! What? I thought you found them in the freezer. No, this just came in the mail. <laughs> okay, so I remember I told you guys how we had tomahawks yesterday for Levi's birthday? Guess what my mom sent him for a birthday present? Two more tomahawks. Three more tomahawks. Oh my God, three more tomahawks. Well, I hope they're as good as the one last night. Or we'll be having tomahawks for days. Oh God, so maybe they'll be better. <laughs> so anyway, we got three more tomahawks, all the tomahawks, that's right. He walks in with these and I thought like maybe he found them in our freezer and just like had forgotten that we had them or something. No, he's like, no, this is what your mom sent me. <sighs> we got tomahawks for days. I have this weird sense of you were in my head. I imagine you're bigger than you maybe are because in the Discord RP community, I feel like you're most people have at least heard of you. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, girl. Nikki, I've got the funniest story about that. I've got the funniest story. So a while back, um, Sasha came on the stream. This was like a me and Landon, like um, a stream where we did like the podcast style thing. Anyway, um, she, uh, Sasha came on the stream to talk about some J Sync, you know, J Sync RP community like drama or whatever and we talked about it in the sense of like you know here's a better way to manage a community here's where they messed up why the you know the drama happened da da da, da all this stuff right well anyway of course i make the title kind of clickbaity about like it's about jsync drama the video is not really about jsync drama it's about community management but you know um and this was like back in february or march that i posted this video it was many months ago anyway the jsync rp community finally found it and um and started talking about it and like the the JSync RP community, like Discord servers and blogs and their dream with and all this stuff, you know, they have all this stuff, right? Um, they banned talking about it. They said, you're not allowed to talk about this video. And their reasoning was like, because it was doxing, like they were gonna dox us by posting it or something. Like they imagined they were, I, I, I think, and it's hard to tell because I don't really know the JSync RP community that well, but I think what they were trying to say is they didn't want to send a hate brigade to the video or something like that, right? So they were like, you know, the video can be posted about and discussed if the people that made it post it. So Sasha, of course, went and posted it. She is part of that community. She knows what goes on there. And she's like, you know, this is not a big deal. You guys can talk about it. Um, and, uh, and it's so funny, like they made this big deal. And then when she finally posted it, no one gave a flying fuck seriously almost vast majority of the comments were like that's three hours i don't want to watch the three hours video <laughs> so like even in the tiny bubble like they they know but they also don't know do you know what i mean it's like it's like i'm still small um so so yeah and it's funny because like in the comments like where it was where the discussion thread was on the dream with on that people were like is that that karen and and somebody else commented like no this is a different karen and i was like so there's a there's a karen in the jsync rp community 
that um, has a bunch of drama around her. And I'm so curious, like, what the heck she did. Um, I mean, a lot of people earn ire in the JSYNC RP community for really silly reasons because the JSYNC RP community is crazy. But um, but I like I want to know. I'm like, what are her sins? What are her sins? All right, Barack Cotobain, it's me and you. We go. We go. We go. You die. I've wondered sometimes if it would be worth offering to talk about the post that canceled me, but I don't want the smoke. It's over my life, and I don't know if I feel the same. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's tough, right? Um, I think, you know, Sasha coming on and talking about some of the times that she's been canceled and things like that, I think has very, been, been very, like, cathartic and healing for her. Um, but I don't think everyone's going to feel the same way. Um, and... You know, it's all about, like, how you want to talk about it. Because it's, like, your flaws or whatever. Like, even when I talked about the, the J-Sync drama, like, I didn't name any names. You know, I wasn't like, this person did this. And, you know, it's anonymized. You know, you I mean, you've seen plenty of my content. You know, like, it's all anonymized. It's all anonymized. Is being banned the same as being canceled? Well, okay. So, Blue, in the RP community, like, no, it's not. Because it's very decentralized, right? Like, you would have you know, dozens or hundreds, depending on the community of different role play groups that you can join. And if you get banned from one role play group, it's very common for people from that role play group to like go tell, like tattle to everyone else why they banned you. And like, because the RP community is so like fucking Puritan, disgusting, awfully brain poisoned, like people will pre-ban you because of stuff that they were not involved with, that they are only hearing one side of the story. Like, it's crazy. So, like, when we say, when someone has been, like, canceled in the RP community, that's what we mean. We mean that some mod or admin of an RP has kind of started the rumor mill by saying why they banned you. And so all of these other people have all these presupposed notions about you without ever talking to you, without ever asking your side of the story. So that's what we mean. So, no, it's not the same as just being banned. Because if so, I guess I'm part of the club. Well, you know, it's just not the same. It's not the same in the roleplay community. When when we talk about canceled, it's not banned. I tried to post an apology and it made it worse, but it also wasn't as far into my therapy. Oh, okay, so people didn't like your apology. I understand. I was canceled, like blacklisted from several servers and hubs, doxed on Reddit. Some of my friends were doxed. My husband got calls from one chick at his job. That's canceled. Yeah, 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 exactly. What Nikki is talking about Split is what happens because the role play community is fucking crazy. <clears throat> All right. Next call car leader is Virag. Um, but we're going to get some Prowler Claws next. Let's see. What do they want us to do after Prowlers? Oh, Witch Wings. Okay, so we have to go up here. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna go around this way. Honestly, when it comes to getting canceled, it's fine balance. When something comes up, it could possibly hurt you more than it can help you, yeah. Yeah, it's very excessive, Blue, it's very excessive. And I wish I could say that like that happening to Nikki is like unusual or weird, but it's really not. It's really not. Like, I am shocked that I have never been canceled, but I think, <laughs> I think I'm too confident. Like. If I found out someone was spreading lies about me, I would immediately like make a video about with with proof of what actually happened um because they would be lying like if anything that they think is cancelable is a lie and um you know, so it would be very hard to cancel me because like I screenshot everything I'll save everything I don't keep no secrets like I won't do any of that um you know. And if I actually did something worth canceling, then I would apologize when I felt like apologizing. But until then, I would just kind of like keep doing my own thing, you know, until I felt like I was ready to apologize. The thing is, it's hard to apologize for stuff you know you did wrong, but also call it the stuff that was done to you because people want to take ownership of everything and not. Yep, yep, yep. That is very true. That happens in the RP community, too. Like, if you fuck up a little bit and then people overreact, like, you can't say, like, I'm sorry for fucking up, but, like, y'all are fucking heinous. Like, this did not, I did not deserve doxing. Like, you can't say that in the RP community. They, this, like, either, you know, either angel or, or demon. Either angel or demon. It's insane. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, you're totally right, Nikki. That is how it is. There's zero nuance, yes. 
And they'll cancel you for like really stupid shit too that's not even cancelable offenses because there's like a bunch of puritanic puritanical bullshit going on. A bunch of like um you know, people, they think that they're going to solve all the social, social justice ills of the world with, like, the way that they run their RPs. Like, they're super, super quick to call out, um, like, racism that is inconsequential. <laughs> like, they think that writing a racist RP with your buddy, like, that that is, like, that you're, like, perpetuating systemic racism like there is no there's no room for like scale you know there's no room for for like the scale of your offense in the role play community if you do anything slightly off then it's a hundred percent wrong and awful and it's just not it's not reality you know it's not reality um i've been canceled myself when i was getting annoyed by this dude who wanted to rp satan and tell everyone how powerful he was being a combat rp or my reaction was all right post up or shut up <laughs> <laughs> okay, but mood though. <laughs> After saying this a few times, he started reporting me for bullying. People then started talking shit on me and saying all these nasty things. It fucking sucked. Um, but I dug myself out and showed what happened. Yeah. See, that's what I would do. I would probably just post receipts and be like, no, nah, there's more to the story, fam. If y'all want to keep believing these liars, then you're dumb. You know, make up your own minds, be adults. So I don't know, but no one's ever no one's ever tried. Like the closest that I've ever come to being canceled is when Sasha was big canceled. I was part of that targeting, but because I had my own little community, I had a protective bubble around me. So like I was like banned from other places, but they never went so far as to like dox me or anything like that, like, um, or anything actually dangerous. Like I was banned from, you know, maybe a couple dozen places and, uh, and it was like, okay, I just won't go to those places. <laughs> and it never went beyond that. You know, it never went beyond that. So I didn't really have to worry about it too much. But it can get way worse. It can get way worse like what Nikki is saying. But I never did anything, right? Everything that was said about me was just 100% fabricated and I could prove it. And I think that the person that started it like knew that. And I wasn't hated. Like the only, I mean, some people dislike me, but I'm not like hated, you know? So it's kind of harder for them to get people on their side to say that I suck. Cause they're like, oh, people are like, oh, but she always seemed nice to me, you know? And then they're less likely to believe it. I had this one mechanic that was super fine line, had like one OP class in my game where your FC had to be ethnic ethnically African to hopefully push diversity and otherwise predominantly white server. Okay, I see. Um, and I got called racist because one, I one wouldn't accept a white South African who had their own lore, um, and two, would sus eye people that wanted to sneak past that rule with ultra white passing FCs. Yeah. Yeah, and you can get called racist for the other direction too. Um, like it's like there is no there is no right answer to those types of things, you know? Like I can see what you did and why you did it. I'm not sure I would, you know, handle it that way. Um, but I can understand because the roleplay community is incredibly white. So trying to like force the hand a little bit and say like, let's not have every face claim look identical in this RP. And here's mechanically how we're going to handle that. Like I can totally understand it. Because if you don't force the hand somewhat, that is highly likely to happen. And then you end up with a bunch of characters that all look the same. They're all 20 something, uh, 20 something white, you know, people. Admittedly, super fine line, but I think the base concept came from the right place. Yeah, your heart was in the right place. Your heart was in the right place. Like, I get it. Like, I get why you would be criticized for that. And I don't, I probably wouldn't even disagree with the criticism, but I think your heart was in the right place. It sounds like, like, you were trying to do something good and I can get why you would want to do that. At the time I was canceled, I was really being shopped and walked back. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I totally get why you'd want to do something like that. It makes a lot of sense to me. Because if you don't put in mitigating things like that, I know what ends up happening in a lot of RPs. Everyone is everyone is 25 and pale and blonde. And then all the characters look the same. And that's not fun. Like, I don't find that fun. I want the characters to all be different from each other, you know, action-wise and looks-wise. Like, all the ways. I'm out of range!
right, the harpies are right up there, so hopefully we get the rest of the tusks from this little pack of lions. Everyone needed to have porcelain skin, cerulean, or jade eyes, and raven locks. Oh my god. <laughs> Even a server of 48 characters, that is description applied to 30 of them. I fully believe you. I fully believe you. If that's not like 2015 RP, like, I don't even know. And it still continues that way in some corners if you don't try to do something about it as the admin. <laughs> yeah, very, very common. Unless you're in my group where you use anime style pictures and they had wacky air color because it just makes things diverse. Yeah, I think anime, using anime style, you get completely different types of issues in regards to that. I do think that. The a anime RPers have a, a, a different set of, uh, of racial issues or, or commonalities that you come across, you know? It's too far away. All right, Prowler, I'm going to make you the same deal I made that Zevra. Drop your t lion tusk, and I won't kill your friends. I will stop killing right here if you just give me your tusk. But yeah, Nikki, if you ever wanted to come on and like talk about it, like we could like set a date for you to do that, but it is not necessary. Um, you know, if you don't think you would find it healing or helpful, then I don't I don't think we would need to do that. But the offer is there if you think it would be helpful for you to like publicly talk about some of that stuff. Yeah, you get a lot of cultural appropriation with it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like an anime RP that's more like what you see. But overall, I just think the RP community should chill out. Like, there are much better ways to spend your energy if you um, want to be, like, anti-racist. Um, if you want to be, like, you know, helpful to uh, the Black community in particular, you know. Obviously, that's probably what you would want to do, because they have the most issues in regards to that, especially in this country. Um, I think there's better ways to spend your energy than policing your friends in a stupid hobby. <laughs> you know, that at the end of the day doesn't matter to anyone. How like people use Japanese sending names that aren't actually Japanese, yes. Hey, there's a task. Okay, so we can go kill harpies now. Um, if you're open to it and my username can stay anonymous, I'm willing. Could Sasha come in too? I feel like she asks the right kind of questions to get the right wording of an apology out there. Yeah, we can plan for it, Nikki. We can plan. I'll look at the next couple of months of what we've got planned for the stream, um, and I'll reach out to you and we can figure out how we can make that work. I am, I am not opposed. I, I love stuff like that. I think it's helpful. I think it's helpful because it helps other people learn. Um, when you say, you know, this is what I went through. This is where I fucked up. This is where it went too far. And I don't think I messed up. You know, I think it's helpful for the community to hear these things. See, look at these harpies. They are like, they are way too close together. I told you guys, they do not know how to social distance. They do not know how to social distance. It's like, look at that. Too many. Too many in one little group. COVID would have rolled through like a plague there, right? They stand way too close together. And harpies all over. Every harpy camp pretty much is like this. You see, the quillbore camps weren't like that. There's another fun little lore thing. Um, the quillbore and the harpies have some kind of connection. It's vague. It's never like been expanded upon in the lore. But um, but there's like there's references to quillbores inside of harpy camps and vice versa. References to harpy stuff inside of quillbore camps, like inside of um, Razorfen Downs and Crawl references to harpy stuff so there's a close connection between those two uh those two groups but it's never been expanded upon in the lore exactly what that is or what it means but there it's there it's there they pal up they're besties allies i'm out of range But yeah, Nikki, it would probably be, it would be on one of the Saturday streams. So that's what I need to look at. I need to look at the next, um, like the next Saturdays between now and the end of the year and see if we can find one that works where you and Sasha both would be available. Yay! 
Yay! Oh, I'm glad. Okay, they got it first. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Okay, here we go. Go this way. It's Nambit! Oh my gosh, you have another It's name! Hello, fellow It's name. How are you finding hardcore? I just lost my level 33 warrior. No, and it's a warrior too. Oh no. I am really enjoying streaming it. I'm really enjoying streaming it. Um, I had a druid that I was playing off stream and she died in her 20s and then I, I started again and then she died in her 20s again. So I transferred her to Mancrick, um, where she lives now. Uh, I don't know if I will start a druid again, but I am very much enjoying playing my warlock and I will say that this game mode is very fun to stream. Playing by myself, I was not as into it, but streaming it, I'm very, very much enjoying. Um, now the way I'm playing is I'm not I'm not doing any dungeons or anything. I'm just questing, but we are grouping up for elite quests and things like that when when we can. Um, like we did earlier today, we did the um, amber mill quests in Silver Pine before coming over to uh, to the Barrens here. So yeah. Um, what else have you played besides Warrior on Hardcore? Like, tell me about your other characters, too. Because I'm sure if you've, uh, you didn't play just the Warrior to 33, right? Like, you've done some others? I wish the Harpies were a playable class. They're pretty. Yeah, the Harpies are pretty cool looking. The Harpies are pretty cool looking. But yeah, it's not a playable race, unfortunately. That and the Nagas. Yes! Okay, oh my god. Nagalore is so cool. How they used to be, um, how they used to be Night Elves. I think, actually... Now that I think about it, I think harpies, harpies came from night elves too. I want to say that's the case, but now I can't remember the details, but I know Nagas came from night elves. So I got the warrior to 33, then it rogue to 20 before dying. And now I'm back on warrior, mostly melee player. Oh, okay. Okay. I, um, I like to play cheatery hybrid classes. So my favorite is warlock. I love, love, love warlock. Um, and I like druid. Druid's my other favorite. And I've played some other, you know, other classes, but Warlock is, Warlock is the love of my life. And uh, Druid's second love. But Warlock is the best. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, Night Elves came from Trolls. That's right, that's right. Trolls are um, most likely the original mortal race of Azeroth. That's right, that's right, that's right. Probably the oldest that, that, that's here. Yes, yeah, so I'm not much of a melee player. I like, I do like um, some casting better, but um, but since it's hardcore, of course, I've been bearing it up on my druid, um, which has been fun. Which has been fun. Um, I like I like the bear, and I got cat form now on her. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I continued her on Mancrick, so she's actually close to thirty now. Not enough of these guys are dropping their talents for me either. Before the Sundering and before the Night Elf High Elf rise to power, they were everywhere. I feel bad for the trolls, right? Like, and they get blamed. They get blamed for, like, stealing land from the elves and things like that. And it's like, no, bitch. It was the other way around. It was the other way around. The trolls are here first. They are the natives. And um, all the other races stole from them. The whole land used to be trolls. All of it. And, uh, and we just, we just ransacked it. Not much of a melee player. She struck me as a chic player. Um, in melee, I played, uh, I played Link. I played Link and I, you know, cheatery. Cheatery. It's all about being cheatery. I played Link. Never played WoW myself, like I said before, but usually play DPS. Yeah. I like DPS a lot too, but I like my druid. Oh my God. When I get on my druid, so many DMs, so many DMs, will you tank, will you come tank, will you come tank, will you come tank? Oh my god. No. No, I won't. I'll come heal, but no, I won't tank. My god. Close Zelda pick? Yeah, you're close, Blue. But I love Link. Oh, there's one of those plane starter bitches, the ornery ones. 417th deadliest in Azeroth. That is crazy for some random mob. Crazy. I mean, DPS, especially where there's champion... Companion like a demon or a pet, yeah. I'm not, I tried to play Hunter. I'm not super into Hunter, but I, I hear what you mean. I do love having my demon. He's fun. He's super, super fun. 
All right, there's a random vendor up here, yes. I love DPS of being a warrior, kind of get put into the tank, yeah. Especially in classic, like you can't just roll a DPS warrior. You can't. Like if you're going to go into dungeons or raids, like they're going to they're going to tell you to tank, you know. The only way you're going to DPS is if you have some buddy that's willing to um always tank and bring you along as DPS. What do you but warriors pretty much got a tank. There is so much junk in my bags. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. Um, I will tell you. Oh, I need to tell you. The other things that we do on here. Um, in addition to in addition to WoW. We also, um, I mean, we play a lot of games from around this time. So like on Sundays, we're currently playing through Final Fantasy X-2. We have a 100% run through of um, Final Fantasy X as well. Um, we have a 100% run through of Majora's Mask that we've done. Uh, so games from this era, we play a lot of games from this era. Also, I do kind of a podcast style sometimes with my friend Landon, where um, we talk about like media analysis and things of that nature. And the way I got started making content was actually making content about the uh, the roleplay community. Funny enough, text-based roleplaying. So, uh, so yeah, that's like a little bit about me and kind of the stuff that we do here. So we're playing this basically until I die, until the warlock dies. <laughs> that's when we're done. That's when we're done with uh with playing <laughs> with playing WoW on stream. But yeah. Okay, come around here for Samuflange. Got it. So yeah, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. I really appreciate it. I hope so. I hope some of that interests you um, outside of the WoW too. I bond with my pet just as a problem. I keep the same pet throughout the game instead of getting something cooler later out of loyalty. Oh, I know what you mean. I don't mind, but it's terrifying on hardcore. Yeah, tanking is terrifying. Till the end of time, because Karen's too good. Blue, you say that, but I got my druid girl killed twice, so... <laughs> <laughs> I got my druid girl killed twice. So, like, we'll see. We'll see. But Warlock, I vibe with the most. So, hopefully, I will not get her killed. Hopefully, we'll just keep going for a long time. That was off-screen gaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was off-screen. This is on-screen. We're better. So, yeah, we'll see how far we can get her. When there's a crowd, there's a greater need, right? Happy to be here. I'm very much an old school gamer. I'll have to check out some of your other streams. Thank you so much, Nambit. Thank you so much. I love podcasts. So I might have to give them a listen. So all of it is also on my YouTube channel. Like if you want to just go take a browse um, to kind of get an idea, it's also on my YouTube, which is the same. It's Karen Terry on YouTube as well. And I post pretty much all of my VODs that are worth posting. I post them. It is pretty rare that I don't I don't go and post a VOD, a stream VOD. All right. I'm going to do this annoying little valve thing with the semiflange. Um, come on. Let's get this raptor too. Come here, boy. At this point, we're like high and enough above the raptors that we should be cool to fight any of them. I was recently told about some coveted GameCube accessory. What accessory? I loved GameCube. Played the hell out of Melee on GameCube. Um, the other game I really liked for GameCube to play with my friends, which I don't even know how you would do it nowadays to play this. But anyway, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, and we fought over who would carry the bucket. <laughs> it was so fun because it like hooked up to the DSs, and it was it was so cool. It was so cool. Karen's awesome. Oh my god, thank you, Scrub. Okay, let's 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 uh wreck these Ventrico bitches. Um met her when she was still doing RP content, became good friends, and for some reason she kept me around. No idea why I'm a total troll. Oh my god, but you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. No, I think uh I think it's the spice. I think it's it's because you're you're willing you're willing to hurt yourself for food, and I think that's I think that's an amazing talent. Costs as much as buying the console controllers and some games along with it. Yeah. It hooked up to your GBAs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. It was so fucking cool. We would play the hell out of that game. At the time. 
we play we play a bunch of Crystal Chronicles, and then and then um, it was time for for dinner, and then we'd eat dinner, and then we would watch Adult Swim until we fell asleep. That was like so many. Um, that was so many afternoons and evenings with my friends. Excuse you, where do you think you're going? Into the mountain. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm gonna kill these ones too, I think. I don't think I can click this without aggroing. Let's see. Can I click you without aggroing these bitches? Crystal Chronicles, which is basically Gauntlet Final Fantasy Edition. Yes, it was so fun. I liked that game. Okay. Now we gotta do all the valves. Don't start with hyper spawns, please. Yeah, I loved Crystal Chronicles. That was also the time I was playing a lot of, like, EverQuest and Final Fantasy XI as well. What is it, Queen? You wanna help me with the Samouflage? I gotta turn these regular to valves. Oh my god. There are hyper spawns here, I swear. It was like this other times I've come here too. They just spawn so fucking fast. At least they're running the other way instead of the direction of all the others to go tattle. Mobs should not be allowed to tattle on me. It should be illegal. Okay, let's get this raptor. Hey, boy. I always hurt myself for good spicy food. <laughs> I'm prepping for eating little nitro, which is a gummy bear made from the same stuff as the sucker I showed you. Oh my god, I look, you looked like you were dying from that sucker. I swear. Like, it looked like it was making you drunk. <laughs> um, difference is it's an afterburn challenge, so arguably worse. Instead of sucking on it for five minutes, I eat it and wait five minutes before I can eat or drink again. Oh my god. I'll record the reaction. Yes, yes, please do. Please do. Oh my god. That sounds hilarious. Come here. Okay, I think the other valve... Yeah, the other valve's right there, so we need to clear out these guys. Don't go tattle! Excuse you! Hi! Thank you. God. He was gonna go tattle on me! That is so rude. Nobody likes a tattletale. Where do you fall in Hillsbrad? Falling, falling damage in Hillsbrad. Where would that be? What would you fall off of? From Altrek down into Hillsbrad? Maybe. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. Yolo. Hell yeah. Thank you, um, Nyla Foster. Thank you. Um, how dare he not let you kill him without getting his buddies for help? Exactly. 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 You understand. You should have to solo me. I'm doing great. Your mic looking so cute. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing today? This is hardcore, by the way. If it was not clear, this is hardcore. So if we die, we die. That's that's the end. Yeah. Yeah, These I grew these out of my head. I think they look pretty rad. Oh my god. No, no, no. Ugh, I knew it. Tattletail. These bitches. I just want to turn off their, their device. Doing busy just seeing some streams. Well, thank you for coming to check out mine. I appreciate it. We do a lot of stuff on here. We do a lot of stuff on here, um, and we play a lot of like games from around this time period. Like the other main game we're playing right now is a 100% run through of Final Fantasy X-2. We're doing a new Yevon run right now, and then we're gonna do it again and do um, do the uh, the other faction whose name escapes me. Youth League. Is it a Tiefling cosplay? Did I spell that right? It can be. I was thinking Demon, but looking to design for streamers. Oh, I see. How do I buy balls? Um, I think if you do exclamation 
PCG, it stands for Pokemon chat game, you'll see the instructions. So I think you need to do exclamation, exclamation PCG to see it. New Yevon, more like Boo Yevon, that's right. Ah, I knew I was gonna aggro that bitch. Help me, troll friend. Help me. Okay, or just just run right past. That's fine too. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't need your help. I don't want your help. I don't I got this. I got this. Oh my god, he's gonna go tattle. Get back here. Whatever. You didn't put solid graphics or artwork on your channel yet. I don't need them, my friend. I'm a part-time person. Okay, so now we can get console key. Can I design some cool animated stuff for your channel? Anyone can design stuff for me if they want, but like, I'm not gonna pay for that. I know I can go on Fiverr and get if I want something, so, you know. You know what's up. But if you want to design me stuff for free, anybody can make me stuff for free if they want to. I always accept gifts. My budget is zero dollars. My budget is free. Now you know. Can I pull him out of here without aggroing him? Oh my god, die. There we go. All right, let's get him. All right, come on back. Got the console key. Okay. Do you remember when you drew cards for me last time I was thinking of starting a business? I do remember that, Nikki. I do. What ended up happening with that? Did that go anywhere? All right. Let's take care of this. Um, okay. Sorry, guys. Don't come in here and just randomly solicit me when I don't even know you. If you want to solicit, set up a fiver. Everyone will know how to find you. If you have good artwork, you'll make money. Uh, okay, but hearth back to Ratchet. Okay, we're done here. And how my card said it wouldn't work out. Yes, I do remember that. What ended up happening? Like, I feel like it was like, it's not going to work out unless it's like something, something. Like, there was like extra to it in my interpretation. Okay, so it didn't work out, but I ended up being able to make graphics for a streamer who put me in contact with some people who work at Disney. What? And another group making a graphic novel? Oh my god. Oh my god, Nikki, that's amazing. That's amazing. You got some really good networking out of that. That is so cool. I that So that could go somewhere eventually. Is way better than making a lemonade and cotton candy. Yes, absolutely it is. That is way better. What, you mean you don't want someone to annoy you into buying things you don't want crazy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just, you know, it's not really a way to, going to random people to solicit them like that is really not a good way to run a business, you know? And I think, like, it's bad enough when people crawl into your DMs and do that. Like, doing it while someone's live, like, you're just asking to be embarrassed. I don't, I don't really agree with that type of solicitation. I'm so happy for you, Nikki. I'm so glad. I really hope that turns into something. It sounds like it really could. That's some amazing networking. 
Yo! Be good! Have a good one! Keep it real! Be good! Keep it real! Have a good one! Keep it real! What's up? Hurry back! Despia reminded me that. <laughs> well, I'm so glad they reminded you so we could hear that lovely story. I'm so glad that that's the update, really. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, I never stream on the weekdays, so I guess, you know, I guess on the weekdays, um, there's not as many people streaming, so they're more likely to come into a small streamer with this sort of thing. But I've gotten plenty of, like, DMs and, like, Twitter messages and, and things like that. Um, but never live, so that was interesting. The only live kind of selling Sam I've ever gotten is like, want to be famous? Like the bot message, you know, I've gotten that plenty of times, but that wasn't a bot, clearly, that was a person. So yeah, y'all don't do that. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you have good art and you go and you make a fiver, then you will get customers. Like every piece of art I've ever purchased for this channel has been because I found someone on Twitter or on Fiverr. Don't you already have someone who makes your graphics for you like these? Yes. Yeah. I have a, a couple of artists that I work with um, for various graphics that I want. Hello. And I have paid them, by the way. Like, I, you know, <laughs> I, I have paid them. If I ever get involved with streaming again, I know I wouldn't be getting my art VTuber model from someone who randomly DMs me. Exactly. Like, if you know what you want, you're going to go and look at what's out there on websites where it's offered, like Fiverr, like Twitter, you know, where the artists are. And you're going to compare prices and you're going to look at reviews and you're going to do all of those things to try to determine um, what type of artist you would like to work with. Roll, roll. Dabu. Drink. I've been out here making graphics for free for people just to build up my portfolio. Word of mouth has gotten me everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Now, I, I think if somebody, like, asks you to work for free, that's, like, you probably shouldn't do that. But, like, I think you strategically offering to the right people as an artist is very beneficial, good strategy. Because um, then you can be choosy about, like, okay, I, I know you're going to be have a good networking opportunity for me, so I'm going to offer. Right? So that makes a lot of sense. Exactly, yes. But yeah, I have an artist that's made most of my emotes, and then I have another artist that has made my animated emotes and my um, well, my things that pop up whenever people follow and stuff like that. You know, the dancing, like, um, Re and the dancing queen. We shall meet again. Okay, are there any other quests we have to turn in? This one's complete. Where do you turn this one in at? Oh, like way up there. Okay. So that's why we're not doing that one right now. All right, so we will fly to Orgrimmar. I've literally told friends, don't give me your goods product for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can afford to pay for it, you should pay for it, you know? If I'm going to support you, then my moral standpoint is going to I'm going to buy stuff from you. That is always preferred. Like, if I want to see someone succeed, then I'm going to prefer to pay. You know, if I can. Oh, this isn't Thunder Bluff. I do need to go to Thunder Bluff when I hit 20 for my spells. Blood and thunder. Go for but that's a timed quest, so I don't want to accept it quite yet. I'll try to time it for when I hit 20, which should be soon. I've been working on this pro with, on this project server where I make a fully built RP worlds with graphics, banners, ads, and emoji kits all pre-made. I'm calling it World Depot. The idea is that people can get great worlds and just copy and paste and run their friends. I love that, Nikki. I think that like um, it's one of those things that if you already know how to do it, you don't need it. But there's there's got to be people out there that don't want to build their own servers. They would be willing to pay like a small fee to get someone to do all of that stuff for them. Especially if you're making graphics and things along with it, because that's like a really challenging part that like you can't really learn it. Like, I think that you can learn how to like make a server in the sense of like 
what channels to put in and some things like that but they are more artistic things such as like how to properly world build and how to properly make beautiful graphics those like you can learn some things but there's a limit where you've learned everything you can learn and the rest is just more about like do you have the artistic capability to uh to be creative in that way and know what looks good i don't know why i just had that fps dip right there nothing is happening <clears throat> but i just went slow mode for a second i noticed if i could get that job i told you about earlier i'd be subbing to you and renewing every month oh my god scrub oh my god well i do hope you get that job not for subbing to me but because i think like that is a good amount of money that you could like really build a life off of been world building for 10 years i'm still learning how to do better myself with it yeah like same like i've been doing it for forever and there's still plenty of times where i have made mistakes in the way that the world was crafted as far as like how to make sure that it has good engagement and good balance for the people that are role playing in it you know it's hard it is hard and the only way to know if you're doing any good is just to keep practicing at it and I think graphics are the same way. Like I'm not as talented in that regard, but I can see that the, my friends that are, like I can see like iteratively how they get slowly better over time by just playing with stuff and practicing. I got the idea from you how you can't or shouldn't DMC protect your worlds and make yourself paranoid of people seeing it. Yes, that's one of the things I was worst about and this is my way to give back. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And I don't want money for it. I just want to know new role plays can have these base games they build on, they're already done. Um, so they need to get a few buddies to join with them. Well, it works for D&D. &D. You know, it works for D&D, &D, so... I don't know if the roleplay community is... Uh, how, how much a market would be because of, like, how small it is. But, um, but I know there's people that would want something like that. Put it that way, I think. I just got the funniest whisper. Hail, Elder Warlock. Would you happen to have a few spare minutes of time to save a life? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, what, it, what, what would you like, sir? <laughs> I'm very curious what he's going to say. I'll read you guys whatever he says. Or she. I guess I don't know. This name sounds masculine, though. I have to go to that godforsaken cave to get a tablet. Oh, they're doing the orc version of the warlock quest. Oh, man. Do we help them, you guys? Do we help them Skull Rock? I was so scared of Skull Rock. You remember how terrified I was to go into Skull Rock. Do we help them? In asking for... I'm asking for insurance. <laughs> I think we do it. Yeah, fam. Invite me and um, be on my way. Okay, we're gonna go accept this quest, and then we're gonna we're gonna go help them get their um, get their uh, their void walker. I will surely pay it forward. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, no problem. I'm live on Twitch right now. By the way. It's Karen Terry. <clears throat> so then they know. <laughs> Nikki, that's honestly why I'm writing my own book series. It's the world I've been so long, but I did the original content. Do not steal thing. Now I want to share that content for people to use later on. Yeah. Probably could do it, but... Yeah. Um, it's scary. City version of the quest is easier. Waiting for you at entry. Okay. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go help this little warlock. We're gonna go help this little warlock. I need a target. This, the another thing they said is probably could do it, but I. But if I go with probably all the way to sixty, I definitely won't make it. 
yeah, that's true. That's how my druids got in killed. I'm like, I could probably do that, and then I didn't do it, and I died. Okay. All right, let's go help this dude. I don't know how I can do that without doxing myself on Discord. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 because you're okay, because of what happened. Because of what happened to Nikki, she's in an alt on Discord. Believe in the power of the stream, you can do it as long as you play on stream. So far, Scrub, that has been true. So far, that has been true. I sit on boats and elevators. <laughs> <laughs> Under city elevator boss. It's hardest in the game. But when you publish, post a link to buy it on Amazon. I'll buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. That's true for anybody. Any of my friends that come on the stream, if you publish something, I better see it in the Discord with a link so that we can all go review it, for sure. I only go if I see the door open. Oh my god, but that's me though. Y'all probably watched me do that on stream. Like, wait. The door's open, but no. I wait for the door to open again, and then I go. <laughs> Best book ever changed my life. Fuck yeah. All right, let's get our blueberry out. Okay, let's rock and roll. Here we go. Let's face roll skull rock. Time to face roll. Did you see that one guy land on a rail in Nomer? No, but that sounds terrifying. Saved him. Oh, down the Nomer elevator. I understand what he's saying now. Because there's an elevator there, too. I bet it kills a lot of people. All right. Time to destroy. These little burning blade orkies ain't gonna know what hit them. Still recharging. Scrub, are you following Landon's TikTok? Um, she was posting TikToks over the summer of her progress on her a draft of her first book that she's working on her novel. Um, and she is on draft number two now. And she, she's uh, she's working in the school years back in session, so she's not going as fast anymore. But um, that might be helpful for you, inspiring to kind of see like the progress that she's making. Oh, I need to change this to free for all. Uh, oh, I don't see it. Did he invite me? Invites you to join clean. Wait, why am I not in pocket tiger anymore? Uh, sure, whatever. What happened to Pocket Tiger? I just realized that I'm not... I wasn't in the guild anymore. I'll have to investigate that. Okay, is he... He's this way. Oh, this is a mass invite guild. Oh, God. It's a mass invite guild. Be quit. I still haven't read the end of Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, my God, you should. That's a classic. I love Chronicles of Narnia. Well, really, the first book is the best. They get kind of weird after that. And then the the origin story one. I like that one, too. Um, Magician's Nephew, I think, is what it's called. That one's crazy. The whole reason Narnia is messed up because this, the dude gets um, the little boy, like the main boy in that one. It's, a, it's not... It's a different boy. But anyway, the main boy in that one um, gets really, really attracted to the, the giant woman, um, the Snow Queen. And uh, she tricks him into ringing the bell. It's amazing. He's like, he's like in love with her. 
I follow her on X, which is stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid fucking X. Okay. You got it? Okay. Hell yeah. This way, let's hop down. Okay, good, you're following. Yeah, Magician's Nephew started all. He ends up being the uncle to the pence. Yes, 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 that one. I like that one, too. Uh, what level did we come into Skull Rock? I don't remember. It was just a couple streams ago, but I don't, I don't remember. Maybe 13 or 14? I don't, I don't know. I'm probably lying. I'm probably lying and I can go back and look at the VODs and be like, I totally lied to this poor dude. Wise and I would have hearthed out. Yeah. The Undercity Vorwalker quest is easier. And you can do that one. It's way easier to do the Undercity version. But you don't remember, that's what we did. I was there, didn't see it. Oh. Huh. Oh, weird. I could have sworn you could do either. That, like, as an undead, I could come do this one. If I wanted to. Went downstairs, too. Oh, huh. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Gonna get quiet for a bit and bang out a post? Fuck yeah. Always be posting. Always be posting. I love Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Yeah, that's a good one, too. But then there's like weird ones like Horse and His Boy that um that are not that are like meh, you know. Um, true that. Okay, good luck, friend. Okay. We helped a kind soul. Let's go back and train our class spells. Oh, we can do our class spells in Orgrimmar. What was I talking about going to Thunder Bluff? I was in, I, I was thinking on my druid, how I got to go to Thunder Bluff. That's the only city that's got a druid trainer. Okay, well, let's go back into Orgrimmar and let's train our class spells. Um, can my son and I rewind and watch? Uh, yes, I will. Yes, after stream, you should be able to do that. Let's see, how long have we been streaming? We're at 3.36 right now, so you can find it from a bit before that. I don't, does Twitch let you rewind? I feel like it doesn't. It should, YouTube lets you, but Twitch does not. Thank you so much. All right, that felt good. That felt good. Hey, that's a good strategy by that person. Whisper somebody for like a hard quest that you know that they're gonna have like, um, they're gonna have feelings about because they did it too, because it was like warlock class quests and they know if they find like another warlock that they're gonna probably be like, yeah. Appreciate you streamers, future promoters and of all this. Ah, thank, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so they were so nice. They were so nice. Twitch doesn't, which is pretty dumb. Yeah, I feel like it should, because like when I watch streams on YouTube, you can, but I like I can't I can't recall ever doing that on Twitch. So yeah, you can't. It's so weird. Okay, back to what we were doing. Let's go into the cleft of shadows and train our spells. Oh, and we're going to get sacrifice. Yes. Oh, that's going to be very helpful. Oh, wait, we already have it. Oh, because this guide's behind. Because this guide's behind my level because I went and did Mulgor. So I have sacrifice, actually. 
I gotta remember I have that. So I might have this, it says Grim Grimoire Firebolt rank 3, I might have that already too. He's running with me. He's running with me, the person we helped. And he says, gives left turn signal. <gasps> it's funny. I believe I can fly. Whee! Oh. Alright. Let's get some training. Oh, oh. Okay. For the horde. Soul stone. We definitely need that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Searing Pain was the other. I don't think I'm going to really use Searing Pain very much. I guess we can make a macro, but I don't really see myself using it. Let's see. Searing pain. Hopefully I spelled that right. YouTube and Facebook both let you rewind. I've never watched a um, Facebook live. So why not Twitch? Honestly, I don't know if I'd return to Twitch if I did streaming again. Probably would do YouTube instead. Yeah. If I was starting now, I'd start on YouTube. And I've thought many, many times about like, what would it mean to transfer to YouTube? Um, never really pulled the trigger on doing it, but it is it has crossed my mind on many, many occasions. If YouTube would add channel points, honestly, that would be all I would need to switch. That would be all I would need. Okay. Spirit. I don't think I need this. Yeah, sacrifice rank one, one already known. Okay. Farewell. Enter the barons through the western exit. Oh, and it's time to get the Cat's Eye Emerald. Okay. Yeah, the discoverability on Twitch is just not very good. It's much better on YouTube. It's just, but the chat is not as fun on YouTube. It's just a chat. Like, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles you have with Twitch. It needs channel points. Could always ask your followers if they make the switch with you if you're at that point of really being on the fence. I can understand not switching since you've already built up here, yeah. I've asked before, and some people said yes, some people said no. It was pretty mixed. It was pretty mixed. Okay. Um. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what we're doing be expected honestly yeah yeah i mean it's they answered exactly what i expected them some people said yeah and some people said no because the the drawback of youtube is that um a lot of people have their real names on youtube like their government names because it's their google account or whatever so yeah but anyways look at our look at our girl look at our girl in her cute little tube top how adorable how adorable all right you guys we are actually going to stop there okay so for everybody that has been watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And um, of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.